hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Brianna and today we are doing a shower jelly to a shower gel from Lush and as you can see I have got the bongo shower jelly Ooh, there we go bongo um, and this is like a mangoey coconutty shower jelly it is divine it smells so freaking good um, and I really want a bongo shower gel so I've got my little 100 gram shower jelly I've got my Aveeno skin relief body wash which is a fragrance free body wash all you really need is a fragrance free body wash shower gel type situation and then an empty bottle doesn't have to be a lush bottle can be whatever you like but they're pretty easy to pour in um, with a sieve so this is an old American cream hair conditioner bottle I was meant to use this one for my last video with the bath bomb to shower gel but there was a bit too much um what do you call it yeah product so it wasn't going to fit in this one but this will be a smaller one so that'll be fine as always I got my trusty spatula to scrape down the sides and this the uh what do you call it funnel like I said and also my beautiful doo -doo 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 blender so I'm going to put the shower jelly in the blender. It is at room temperature and I'm going to put a few squirts of the shower gel in and just see how we go with texture. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so the shower jelly is in there along with about 20 squirts of the Aveeno body wash. I think this is something you're just going to have to play by ear um, at home in terms of how much you put in. But um, yeah, put in a decent amount to start with not a ton it just is going to depend on how thick your shower gel is how thin you want the um, shower gel to be so yeah let's get into it I'm going to turn this on now let me just hold my phone like that so yeah uh, there will be a noise in three two one. Oh, wow Woohoo! whoa Looks like I'm making like a buttercream for a cake or something. My goodness. Oh, that smells so good. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we're definitely going to need a little bit more. We'll be back in a sec. Okay, I've got another 10 squirts of shower gel, so it's 30 squirts altogether. I'm going to turn it on in three, two, one. looking better probably still a little thick for my liking I think oh, mm, it's actually not bad okay I am just going to get my spatula I'm gonna pull down the sides and just check on the texture so I've just given it the scrape down we're gonna give it another blend I think I'm gonna just put it on the highest setting this time three two one <laughs> I think we're talking now I think this is good oh yeah let's get some texture oh I'm actually really happy with that okay brilliant so 30 squirts of Aveeno to get to that stage um, yeah I'm, I'm happy with that consistency I'm gonna pour it in the funnel and I'm gonna just wash my hands with it because I've already had a shower today so um, I'm just gonna wash my hands with it and let you know what I think on the texture okay so here it is in the bottle um not like a ton of product like you could probably get this into one of the medium size um lush bottles like the 250 gram size but i'm happy with it in this bottle it's not harming anyone being in a bigger bottle uh, now turning around turning around 
Okay, my final thoughts on this. I really like this one as well. Um, the scent is really strong. So compared to the bath bomb one that I did where the bath bomb, eh, like the scent was good, it was there, but it wasn't like the same as a normal Lush shower gel. Do you know what I mean? Whereas this smells exactly like a normal Lush shower gel. It's very strongly scented. The texture is quite gel-like. So obviously if you want it thinner, you could add more um, plain shower gel than I did. But I don't mind the sort of gummy-ish kind of texture. It kind of, kind of reminds me of like a sort of like one of those thicker shower gels that Lush has. I know... I don't I can't really think of one currently in the range um, but some of the older limited edition shower gels are quite thick as well so if you have like a shower gel that's a little bit thicker than the normal Lush shower gels you'll know what I mean they've almost got like that texture to them almost like a shower slime which Lush does those sometimes um, sort of like the Boo shower slime if you've had that but thinner than that uh, or the Bam or the Brew 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 uh, shower slime sort of like that so look this is the best part about this is you can really customize it to your tastes um, so I prefer a thicker shower gel so I didn't add like a ton of shower gel but on the downside that does mean you do get less of a yield with your product now I'm really really happy with this I'm the scent of bongo is already like really really strong and it is even more strong in this it almost looks like a mango coconut smoothie now which is exactly what Bongo is really. Um, it's such a nice scent. So if you have a shower jelly at home um, and you're someone who doesn't really use the shower jellies a lot, I'm sort of like that too. I'm not a huge shower jelly person. Um, think about making it into a shower gel because I think I'm going to be doing this with a lot of my shower jellies um, that are sort of just gaining dust back there. Um, I was going to do it with the Butter Bear one because I don't actually have the Butterball shower gel in my collection, but I only have one of them and I don't want to fuck it up and then, yeah, I'm just scared of that, you know what I mean? Uh, but I did have a second bongo in my freezer, so I was okay with using one up. So just be careful with it. If you are going to use one that's sort of a special shower jelly, be careful. Uh, but yeah, I'm really happy with the result. I recommend trying it out and seeing how you go um, and yeah, sort of adjusting it to your tastes. And you saw how quickly that turned to the right texture that I was looking for. So just be really careful when you are blending that you don't blend and then think, oh, it's too thick and then you add it too much. Do, do you get what I mean? So just be really careful with that because um, you saw me, I was like, oh, I think this is too thick. But once I scraped down the sides, uh, gave it a little stir and then blitzed it again, the texture was fine. So just be wary of that. But yeah, I would call this a success. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you on the next video. I will probably be doing a bubble bar one. I'm going to go through my collection, just see what bubble bars I have and what ones I think will work really well in this. I won't be using a reusable bubble bar. Um, I've just got to find something that I like. So stay tuned for that. Bye.